Hi everybody, Hassan Sharik, Regulated Canadian Immigration Consultant, back with another video on Canadian Immigration. The topic for today's video is Super Visa for Parents and Grandparents in Canada. In today's video, we will discuss what the Super Visa is, we'll have a look at the eligibility factors for a Super Visa, and lastly, we'll have a quick look at how to apply for a Super Visa for Parents and Grandparents in Canada. So for details on all this, watch the video till the end. Welcome back. So our topic of discussion for today is parents and grandparents super visa in Canada. What is a super visa is first what we'll have a look. So super visa is a multiple entry visa which is granted to the parents and grandparents of Canadian permanent residents and citizens. The validity of this visa is 10 years from the day that this visa gets issued. So it's a, it's a long-term visa, but still it, it is not an indefinite visa. There is a validity duration of 10 years. Secondly, on a super visa, the parents or grandparents, when they travel to Canada, in one single entry, they can stay in Canada for up to five years. That's, that's a good bit of time. Previously, this used to be two years, but more recently, the government of Canada extended the allowance for one single entry up to five years. Keep in mind that though this is a bit of a long-term visa, wherein the validity is 10 years, single entry allowance is up to five years, but this is again a temporary resident visa where parents are only allowed in Canada as visitors and they do not have any work rights. So the major difference between a normal visitor visa and the super visa is that this is specifically for, for, for parents and the validity as well as the single stay allowance are longer than a normal visitor visa. But this is still a type of a visitor or a temporary resident visa. Now let's have a look at the eligibility requirement for the super visa for parents and grandparents. There are three important eligibility requirements that need to be met or that you need to consider. First, as I mentioned earlier, that super visa is a visa which is specifically for the parents and grandparents of Canadian PR and citizens. So this is the first eligibility requirement which has two components. It is only for the parents and grandparents. If the relation to a Canadian citizen or permanent resident is different than parents and grandparents, like sibling or an uncle or an aunt, that individual is not eligible for a super visa. And second component is a Canadian PR or citizen. So say for instance, your child is in Canada for many, many years, but he or she is on a work permit, or maybe initially was on a study permit, in that case, they are not eligible to apply for a super visa for you because they are not a Canadian PR or citizen. The second eligibility is requirement concerns the sponsoring Canadian PR or citizen child or grandchild. And that is that they must meet a certain income threshold which depends on their family size. Only if that income threshold is met that they can sponsor you for a super visa or you could apply for a super visa with an invitation from them. If their income threshold is less than the required based on the family size that they have in Canada, including the people that, uh, that Canadian PR or citizen is inviting, in that instance, they can apply for a, for a visitor visa for you, but not for a super visa. So super visa does have an income threshold requirement as an eligibility requirement. The third eligibility requirement for super visa is that there has to be an emergency medical health coverage for the entire duration of stay of your parents and grandparents. Because they're going to be coming to Canada as visitors and visitors are not covered under the provincial government's health benefits, so if God forbid there is a situation that they need to be hospitalized, um, they need to be treated for a, for a severe illness, 
um, in that instance, the government is not going to cover the cost for that medical treatment. And that is where the parents and grandparents who intend to come on a super visa must have a private health insurance which will cover the cost for such a treatment if need be. The requirement is to have at least a hundred thousand dollars coverage for them and this must be for their entire duration of stay. So when they want to come to Canada on a super visa for the first time, it must be there for a one year period. Uh, the evidence that you have to show with your, your application and later on if they stay for, for any period beyond that, they should be covered for that as well. Now let's have a quick look at how to apply for super visa for parents and grandparents in Canada. So there are uh, two ways of applying for a super visa. First, you can apply online on the IRCC portal where you can create an application for them or they can create an application for themselves. And secondly, you could use the services of a regulated Canadian immigration consultant like myself, wherein we can submit the application for your parent or grandparent. Now, keep in mind that the outcome of the two applications will not depend on what mode you apply through. It will depend on how well the application is prepared and submitted. If you're applying for your parent or grandparent through the online um, application portal, which is the IRCC online application portal, first, you need to look at the eligibility. As I mentioned, the three points for the income eligibility checklist, you can, you can wa watch another video that I've made on that to calculate as to what uh, income would you require, or there is an article in the description of the video which you can check and you can calculate uh, if you meet the income eligibility requirement. Secondly, you will gather all the required documents which will include their personal documents like their passport, their travel history, there are certain forms that you fill. As the first step, you create an uh, uh, online account on IRCC portal, you fill all the details, you fill up all the forms, you collect all the documents some of the important documents that are required are um, a letter of invitation or a letter of support from your side, which states all the details about you here in Canada. What do you do? What is your source of income, your family size, and an acknowledgement that you will cover the financial cost for your parents and grandparents while they're here in Canada on a super visa. You have to purchase medical health insurance a court will not work. It has to be a purchased, uh, an evidence showing that you have purchased the super visa insurance. Now the super visa insurance might only kick off when they land for the first time, but a purchase is mandatory at the time of submission of your application. You're also required to provide an immigration medical examination. Police certificates are required and there might be some other documentation relevant to um, the family composition, your parents and grandparents who intend to come over here, they have to provide some proof as to they will only stay in Canada as a temporary visitor and the likelihood is that they'll go back um, to their home country or country of residence after the stipulated time. So once you gather all these documents, you uh, upload them on the IRCC portal, you make the fee payment right now, it is about $100. You also have to pay the biometric fees if they've, if they've not already given their biometrics in the past. And then you submit the application online. Once you submit the application online, you'll get an acknowledgement. And then if there are further documentations that, uh, that the Department of Immigration requires, they'll request. If this is the first time that they're applying for any uh, Canadian visa, after you submit your on online application that you will get a request for biometric submission, wherein they'll go to the closest Canadian visa application center and submit their biometrics. Now there is a lot of variance in terms of the processing times. Uh, it actually depends on the country of residence and country of nationality that your parents are uh, from. Um, and right now the average processing time for a super visa can vary between about two months to one year, 
depending on their country of citizenship and the country of residence. So this gives you a quick overview of what a super visa for parents and grandparents in Canada is. There are other videos that I've made which cover some of the other aspects in details for super visa. If you're interested in knowing about them, you can click on the thumbnails for those videos and watch those videos in detail. If you have other questions, you can post them in the comment section. And for those who would want to use my services as an RCIC for submission of their parents or grandparents super visa application, you can book a consultation session with me. Again, the link is in the description of the video. With that, I'll ask for leave and I pray that wherever you are, you stay well and I'll soon be back with another video on Canadian immigration. Take care. Bye-bye.